She may be a good witch now, but which Hallmark star stripped down to double for a 90s movie socialite with less than good intentions? There's way more to these actors than lighthearted holiday fare. After spending nearly a decade acting in Hallmark movies, Luke McFarlane starred alongside Billy Eichner in Bros, an LGBTQ rom-com released in September 2022 by Universal Pictures. Bros has some differences from McFarlane's prior Hallmark movies, one of them being that in Bros, McFarlane has the opportunity to play a character a little more similar to who he is in real life. In many of his Hallmark movies, McFarlane plays a straight man, usually with a female love interest. In Bros, McFarlane, who publicly came out as gay in 2008, plays Billy Eichner's love interest, Aaron. As he ventured onto the big screen, he appreciated how much he learned from Hallmark, telling the Los Angeles Times. One thing that I really enjoyed about making Hallmark movies is it's really fun to flirt. It's fun to play that energy on camera, where relationships are at their best in those early times. I guess Hallmark has given me a lot of flirting lessons. It's safe to say that Autumn Reeser has had an extensive acting career. In addition to her many Hallmark movies, Reeser acted on popular shows like The O.C. and Entourage. Some may be surprised to find out that someone with such a successful acting career went into things headfirst without a lot of preparation. Reeser was in theater productions from a young age, but she didn't really begin her acting career until age 20. However, things took off quickly. She told career Contessa, By 22, I was able to support myself entirely on my acting career. Career. This sort of early success is not necessarily common among famous actors. For some, it can take a lot of failed attempts before their career really takes off, and it's understandable that many people don't have the patience to keep waiting for that big break. Reeser recognizes this, saying, I'm glad that I was fairly naive at the beginning of my career. Otherwise, I'm not sure I would have had the courage to try to start a career as an actress. Fortunately for Reeser, her acting career has been a major success. Perfect, then we've done our job. Taylor Cole, who starred in the Hallmark movies Christmas and Homestead, The Art of Us, and Falling for You, among others, has had some fairy tale romances on and off the screen. Cole actually met her husband, producer Cameron Larson, on the set of a Hallmark movie. Could it get any cuter and more Hallmark than that? Not only did they meet on a movie set, but according to People, Cole and her husband's love story actually unfolded in a way that was similar to the plot of Matching Hearts, which Larson happened to be filming as they planned their wedding. Matching Hearts focuses on a matchmaker who ends up finding her own perfect match in one of her clients. Before Cole and Larson began dating, they played matchmaker for each other. Cole told People, We were friends for several years before dating, and I even tried playing matchmaker with Cam, attempting to set him up with a few friends of mine. Luckily, similar to the movie, none of the matches worked, and we both realized we were perfect for each other. Whether their love story was coincidence or fate, the two lovebirds officially tied the knot in 2020 and are going strong. Brennan Elliott has starred in dozens of Hallmark movies, as well as the Hallmark original series, Cedar Cove. While his career is going well, he unfortunately has faced some major challenges in other areas of his life. Elliot's wife, Cammy was diagnosed with stomach cancer in 2018. She was in remission until 2022 when the cancer returned, according to Us Weekly. Elliot has been by her side every step of the way, writing in a heartwarming post on Instagram, "...there is no one I consider braver, stronger, more fearless, even when you're faced with a sinister opponent who never plays fair. Even after countless surgeries and chemotherapy rounds, she forges ahead into spring, taking on one of the most aggressive types of chemotherapy and immunotherapy. In September 2022, Elliot updated fans, saying Cammie is doing better as she recovers from surgery to remove any remaining cancer. Elliot told People the month prior, "...right now, there's no evidence of disease. We're happy about that. We just want to keep that cancer critter away from her." 
If you haven't heard the 1996 hit song Strawberry Wine by Dina Carter, you're missing out. It's sappy and corny in all the best ways, and it's a definite staple of any 90s country playlist. Those of you who have heard the song may have wondered who it was actually about but wonder no longer. According to Taste of Country, Dina Carter is actually singing about her past relationship with one of Hallmark's favorite male leads, James Denton. Magic. Yep, James Denton and Dina Carter dated as teenagers when they were attending the same high school in Nashville. And although Carter didn't actually write the song, she connected with the lyrics, which reminded her of her first love, Denton. In fact, Denton was an inspiration for much of her first album, titled, Did I Shave My Legs For This? Jill Wagner has starred in several Hallmark movies, including Autumn Dreams and Christmas in the Smokies. She's also known for her roles in Teen Wolf and Punked. Wagner turned a new page in her career by executive producing and starring in a spy drama called Lioness. Wagner is co-producing Lioness with Yellowstone creator and director Taylor Sheridan, as she revealed in an exclusive interview with The List. Wagner revealed that she feels lucky to work with Sheridan on the show. Lucky indeed. In 2020, Yellowstone became the most-watched cable TV show of the year, with the season 3 finale bringing in 7.5 million viewers, according to Deadline. Lioness, which is slated to premiere on Paramount Plus in 2023, will allow Wagner to break out of her usual roles a bit, since the series is a military drama that is darker than her past Hallmark movies. Hallmark fans will recognize Natasha Henstridge from her work in thrillers like A Sister's Nightmare and Home Invasion, but the actor actually got her start as a model in her teens. Throughout the 90s and early 2000s, Henstridge appeared in a number of films, including the hugely successful 2000 crime comedy movie The Whole Nine Yards. But she is perhaps most well-known for her role in the 1995 sci-fi movie Species. Species is about a killer alien who comes to Earth in search of a mate. Definitely not quite the hallmark material Henstridge works with now. She spoke about doing her own stunts in the sci-fi series during an interview for the Blu-ray release of Species 2. I'm very, very um, adventurous. So I love to just get in there and do whatever, whatever I could do by myself. One of those stunts even involved jumping through a glass wall. While other actors may shy away from stunts, Henstridge is all about them. She added, I, I just love that kind of stuff, but that's fun. That's not, you know, that's just so part of the part of the experience of making it. But now I have great memories from that. Catherine Bell is known for her role as Cassie Nightingale in Hallmark's Good Witch, but she had several other jobs before becoming the lead in the Feel Good Hallmark series. One of Bell's first gigs was actually as Isabella Rossellini's body double in the 1992 dark comedy Death Becomes Her. In the film, Rossellini plays Liesel von Ruman, a wealthy, sensuous woman who has a magic potion for eternal youth. One scene in the movie required Rossellini to be nude, but the actor did didn't think that was such a good idea for her. In an interview with Vulture, Rossellini said, I said to the producer Starkey that I don't think I have that body. It has to be incredible. It has to look like Barbie, and I don't have a Barbie body. So who did have the so-called Barbie body that was needed for the movie? None other than Catherine Bell. While Bell hasn't said much about her experience as a body double in the famous film, she did take to Twitter to retweet an article about the film in 2017 saying, 25 years ago? Wow. So it's safe to guess she doesn't regret the experience. Come with me. I always had trouble saying no to you. So don't. Samuel Page is known for starring in Hallmark movies like Christmas in Rome and All Things Valentine, among other shows like Mad Men, Desperate Housewives, and Scandal. Page got married in 2014 to Cassidy Bosch, and the story of how he met his wife is as sweet as it gets. According to Cosmopolitan, he had just made an oath with his friends to stay single for the summer, but he went to a cocktail party where he met Bosch, and the two clicked and talked all night. That oath was pretty much immediately thrown out. He left a voicemail for his friend, saying, I just wanted to go on the record to say, this has never happened to me before, and I guess I wouldn't believe in this until it happened. It was love at first sight. Love at first sight is real. It happened to me. 
Nikki DeLoach is a talented actor who's appeared in the films Love and Other Drugs and The House Bunny, as well as several Hallmark movies like Love Takes Flight and Cranberry Christmas. But the most surprising role she played may have been her part in the Mickey Mouse Club. All the way back in 1993, she joined the all-new Mickey Mouse Club alongside stars like Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, Ryan Gosling, and Britney Spears. And although she seems to love her career with Hallmark, she hopes to return to her roots eventually, not at Mickey Mouse Club, but on stage. She told Wide Open Country, "...it's been a really long time since I've actually stepped foot on a stage. It's where I started, obviously, because of singing and dancing and Mickey Mouse Club and all of that. But it's been a really long time." 